There is not only DeepSeek that is innovating in the China AI space, and I think lots of the insights to that have been closed or not available, not accessible to a Western audience. What I'm trying here on this channel is to uncover it step by step. And so today I want to talk about NEO specifically and their AI initiatives and efforts that they're doing and ask the question whether or not NEO could actually have kind of a deep seek moment going forward because Yesterday we've seen, and I've just made a video about that, speaking about the implications of DeepSeek and whether or not it's a justified hype currently. Uh, yesterday we've seen already that Alibaba is you know, jumping in there, launching a new um, model QN and it's beating DeepSeek in, in some benchmarks. So we see there's lots of innovation happening under the radar and I will expect that going forward we see weekly, if not daily, updates on what's happening in China. And before that, not many people have actually been talking about, uh, you know, what's really happening. And one problem I think with NEO is as well that they're not communicating uh, in English or more transparent and in, in a better understandable way that NEO is working on some pretty amazing and interesting stuff as well. So we had NEO Innovation Days as well as some other conferences in which they talk, but mostly in Chinese. And I'm always listening when there is Ren Xiaoxing speaking, who is uh, NEO's head of uh, autonomous driving unit. Um, so there have been changes uh, towards this unit in the past and um, updates. And uh, whenever I go to China, I test the latest version of the uh, NOP or NOP Plus or NOP City. So NEO's different rollouts of autonomous driving and the general perception has been that NEO has been lacking in this space. And I'm here to tell you that I don't think that's the case. I think uh, just the fact that Ren Xiaoxing is staying with NEO for such a long time and he is this very important person when it comes to the foundational work of artificial intelligence. So he's uh, co-published uh, published papers in, in many uh, different uh, publications, really breakthrough stuff around uh, ResNets and how they can be used for machine learning, deep learning, and also for applications such as um, autonomous driving, right? So even people like uh, ex Teslas, Andre Kapathy are using the foundational work of this NEO person, okay? And so he's working with NEO on some crazy stuff in the background. And one of that is the so-called NEO world model. And the NEO world model could become NEO's deep seek moment in a sense that it's going, and that's what I was hinting in my first deep seek video, it's going a new way, a way, a path that no, no one else is doing uh, currently. So it is what deep seek brought to the market that they focused on a different way of distilling models and algorithms and uh, creating efficiencies. And I think NEO will possibly also demonstrate in 2025 that they are having a new approach, a new model towards autonomous driving and also um, bringing many, many different parts of the ecosystem into this um, area of artificial intelligence, right? So, so far, unfortunately, we don't know um, many details around this world model, how they call it yet, other than it will be a way of perceiving the real world out there and create many, many iterations in real time, like many different uh, possible cases, for example, whether or not an oncoming car will be diverting into the traffic or not, stuff like that. And based on that, computing different uh, outcomes and making uh, new ways of how a to, to come to uh, conclusions, how to uh, use reinforced learnings and ultimately for decision making, okay? So what I want to point out here is that there is huge foundational work being done currently that is not public, that will come out, I believe, in 2025. And I've just talked in my um, video about uh, DeepSeek and the implications that it's not only now on the software and algorithm side that I think must be highlighted, but also that we now see the switch to inference becoming the battleground where actually Huawei chips, domestic chips are being used for the first time leading to these cost efficiencies. Now for NEO, we've got something very interesting also coming up, right? They bring out their own uh, autonomous driving chip 
which is supposed to be based on latest technology and very powerful. Plus we have this pending Neo World model release also happening in 2025. It's just giving me this impression that there could truly be a moment in which Neo surprises not only the market, but also users with a new approach towards autonomous driving and AI applications in the whole automotive industry. And against this backdrop, I think we might see a shift of NEO strategy in 2025 because so far we didn't get a whole lot of videos demonstrating all of these new capabilities or talking more in depth. But I think that has also been a function of the NEO brand, which was targeted at premium to luxury segment in which, frankly, you cannot make mistakes. You cannot just launch a FSD type of beta and trial version. Instead, I think with Onvo, that will be the primary strategy to roll out end-to-end -end and new world model technologies and bring them to the users. So this is what I want to highlight here, maybe also kind of as a, a prediction going forward. And it could be as early as 2025 that we see those kind of results coming out. And I think just one more example of what's currently happening in China, despite many other efforts by the big guys like Baidu and Tencent and Alibaba, but also the smaller ones based out of Hangzhou, robotic startups, DeepSeek and so on. And that's what I'm very excited to watch and bring to you here onto the channel. Thanks for watching.